removing the back panel screws. So sorry about the, the mess you'll see inside, but the um, PC case I bought doesn't have anything in the way of holes where you can um, hide all the cables. Also, I bought cheapo exhaust fans because I'm not really much into the RGB side of things. I believe that it's just extra expense because I'm a poor AF gamer. So I bought all these 80 peso exhaust fans. So now that we're inside, here is my screwdriver. Here we go. I hope that. Wait. Yeah, these two will have to go. Right hand thumb rule. So we go here. There we go. I burned my hand cooking my wife um, an Italian sandwich recipe with lots of tomato sauce the other day. Careless of me. Taking out the second screw. So the motherboard, by the way, is I think it's an Asus. H170 Gaming Pro. You can watch the unboxing on my channel. I've uploaded the video there. This is actually my first time removing a video card because my friend who supplies me these things usually assemble them beforehand before delivering delivering the stuff to me. Okay, so it's loose. I think this needs a little nudge from this. Can I pull you up without breaking the board? Pretty please. Whoa, stop in there. There we go. So this is the Gigabyte 1050 Ti Boost. It's a single fan variant. Very dusty. So you can watch the unboxing on my channel. I've actually um, uploaded a video where I unbox this thing. It's actually getting a lot of views. Because apparently a lot of people are searching for the single fan variant of the uh, 1050 tie, so which proved very beneficial for my channel. Thank you guys for the support. So now here we have the Asus 1060. Let me slide this off. There we go. And then we connect this course here. Uh, where will this fit? Alright. There we go. And it's secured. And that was fast. So that's how you change video cards. You're learning with me because this is my first time doing so. Thank you for joining me on this ride. So all I have to do now is to fasten these screws. Hey, it's not aligning. It's weird. So I think we have to insert this one first. Okay, I hope the magnet will hold and not there. Because there was 
a PC of mine that got fried when the screw holding one of the fans somehow came loose and then settled on the motherboard. I think it cost a short because the next day the thing won't start. And you know, it's pretty useless for this screw here. It doesn't have anything in the way of, you know. <laughs> Should we turn this one? Just screw it there. It doesn't serve any purpose. Just this one holding the card. Proper alignment. So sorry about my English, because I'm a Southeast Asian and English is not my prim primary language. And yeah, I'm a kick ass writer, but not in, I'm a very horrible speaker. Thank you for all those who have followed me and the, the channel already has, I think, 1,289 subscribers, 1,288 memory serves, so thank you so much. And of course, I nearly forgot about the power. Yeah, white. Doesn't go well with my motherboard, but yeah, the white does make, does make it stick out. Okay, so this is this has been fastened by what? I want to have to cap, cut through that. Let's hope we want. This is a tie cable, right? That's just a piece of wire that I fastened here ages ago. This thing is, I think, four years old. It still serves me well. The 1050 tie, it can run Doom at all settings maxed. It's 1600 by 900. No, even at 1080p, I just recently bought the 1080p monitor. I know, late to the party! But the 1050 Ti can deliver about... Um, what's this? 58 to... 60 frames per second. What is wrong with this one? It's stuck. Wait, um... I hope I won't inadvertently break anything. There we go. And voila! So now we can connect these. This only goes in a certain orientation, right? Yep. So the flat is a top. What do we do with these? There's a tie cable. I know, I know, I suck at cable management. Never did scan YouTube for. But yeah, I did try, but as you can see, this is not really a standard um, PC case. build I'll be careful to pick um, more standard I mean quality PC case and I'm generally happy with this one it's just a cable thing that's bothering me I think I'll have to buy other key I mean tie tie wire so I can just anyway so yeah there we go so you've successfully um Install the Asus the Asus 1060 OC version 6 gigabytes. This spider doing it. Hey, shoo! I want to kill you. So, yep. If you like this video, guys, please like and or subscribe. It would go a long way in supporting my efforts to produce more videos for you, my fellow PC gamers. Stay cool. Stay frosty.